In this video, I'll show you how to restrict your WooCommerce products based on various different conditions. So for example, you might want to restrict your product to customers in a particular country or maybe to a different user group. So for example, your site might cater to retail customers and wholesale customers. And there's certain use cases where you might want to hide um, certain products from your wholesale customers and vice versa. I'll try to cover as many use cases as possible. And without further ado, let's get straight into it. Throughout this video, we'll be using the AOV up restriction rules plugin. So to get started, just head over to AOVUp.com. Go ahead and download the restriction rules plugin. I'll leave a link in the description below. And with that being said, let's head over to our dashboard. Okay, so assuming you've downloaded the restriction rules plugin by AOV up, the next step is to go ahead and upload that plugin. So we'll go plugins, add new, go ahead and upload and install the plugin. Once you've done so, you'll see this Wii Suite menu here, enter in your license key. After that, it will automatically redirect you to this add on section. From here, we can go ahead and activate the restriction rules plugin, which is this one here. So I'm just going to enable it. Okay, and then we can go ahead and click manage. Okay, so I'm going to create a simple rule. So first, let's actually identify a product in which we want to restrict first. Okay, so let's quickly do that now and then we'll configure our restriction rules. Okay, so we've got this book here, which says my awesome book. So I want to restrict this book to all users, which are admin. Okay, so let's head over to our dashboard again. Okay, and to create such a rule is we need to navigate to where it says product rules here. And then for the rule display, we can say hide. Okay, so the rule type is hide. And then we'll select the specific user group. So we can hide it from everyone, um, guest users, which are users logged out of your site, to a specific user role or even to a specific user as well. Okay, so I'm going to select user role and then I'll select admin because I'm logged in as admin. OK, and then for the filter, we'll go ahead and select the products. We can search for the product. Let's say, for example, if the customer has the direct URL, so maybe in a Facebook group or something like that, someone's shared the product URL, we can do a few things. So by default, it will show a 404 page if they don't have access to it, or we can redirect them to a specific page. So we can redirect them to a page, maybe explaining why they don't have access to it. Okay. What you do here will depend on your specific use case. If it's a membership site you're running, then it'll make sense to probably take them to um, the payment page page to upgrade their membership or something like that right whereas if it's a case where they just don't have access to that product we can just leave it as showing the 404 page okay and then we can just hit save changes and then if we head back over to this particular product here if we refresh this page we should see a 404 page so let's go ahead and refresh this okay and it's showing our 404 page meaning we don't have access to this product right so if we head back over to the restriction rule settings so we can do a few other things so we can password protect that particular product okay so instead of hiding it completely we can have it on display but set it in a way where a password is required if you want to create that type of setup i'll leave a link on screen to a particular video showing you how to do that if we click on product rules so where it says applies to we can change this to everyone and then we can say we want to restrict this product from customers within a particular country so i'm located in the uk so let's go ahead and restrict it from all customers within the UK. And this feature utilizes WooCommerce geolocation settings. So again, I'll leave a link on screen to a more in-depth video showing you how to configure that, okay? But this is essentially how you do it. And then if we select products again, and then have the product be awesome book, then all customers from this country won't be able to see it. Or if you wanted to do the reverse, you can say show it to only customers within the UK. OK, so it means everyone outside of the UK won't be able to see this product. It's the same principle as well for user roles. Here at AOV Up, we service a lot of um, wholesale customers. So this would be quite useful if we want to say show this particular product only to our wholesale customers. OK, and then we can specify it by a particular country as well if you wanted, or we could just X this off and then essentially 
it will only show this product to our wholesale customers. We can go through other use cases, but as I said, I'll leave a link on screen to the playlist and then you can select the type of restriction rules that you want to create. And that will give you a bit more detail instead of me trying to go through every single use case in this particular video. So we'll leave it here. And that's just a few examples of how you can create product restrictions on WooCommerce. As always, if you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.